hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to create a splash screen and flutter so usually uh, we have seen splash screen with one single color and when you swipe it you have another color so but in this splash demo what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can have multi colors in a single screen so to start up with i have a main dot dot file which launches another dot file which is the splash screen one and if you move on to it, it is currently empty. So I'm going to start writing the splash screen here. So it has a scaffold. And then it has a body with a stack. Now by using stack, we are actually going to stack all the elements one above the other. So first the background color, then the icon, and then the text. So... I'm going to comment it also just to know where my stack ends. Now inside the stack, I'm going to add another property called fit stack expand. Okay, it's stack fit expand. And inside this, I'm going to have a children property. with a lowercase so I'm gonna add a children jet I'm gonna delete this now this is gonna hold first thing the first element in my children would be my container that's the background color now first I'm going to show you a background color with a single color and then I'll show you how to implement a multicolor so this is a container So a container with a single color starts with the decoration and I'm going to say it's a box decoration. And this has a color and I'm, I'm using a custom color so you can use any color. So there you go. So when I do a hot reload, uh, let's see how my emulator displays. There you go. So when I refresh, this is what the single color my container holds. Now, instead of a single color, what if I want multicolors in it? Yes, it's possible by just using this one small property called gradient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give gradient and I'm going to give a linear gradient. There you go. I'm going to give a linear gradient. And also observe that this does not hold single color. It's going to hold a list of colors. So to start with, I have a few custom colors here. So I'm just going to use it. Okay. So this is my gradient. And uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to give another two properties, which I'm going to say begin and end. So what this property does is it's going to take the first color and start from center to right. So whatever you see on the right side of the page is this color. And whatever you see on the center to the left you see is this color. So you can shuffle with these colors and you can play around with it. So what I'm going to first show you, how does this linear gradient with these two colors looks like? There you go. So you see, I have a splash screen, which is not one unique boring color. I have multicolor in it. So this is one way of displaying it. So I'll show you a couple of other ways, but before that, let me build this template which I was talking about where it has a circle avatar and a title to it. So after my container, so my children has a container first thing and then it has an another column and 
and this column has a children and here goes my circle avatar there you go and this circle avatar has few properties like where you can give a background color circle which is circle white or any color of your choice and I can also control the radius of the circle so I'm going to give a 75 dot and then it has a child now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an icon inside the circle avatar so the child that I'm going to add is an icon the icon holds is you know there is a default by default we have list of icons provided by the flutter team and this is the link so i'll attach this link in the description below so you have more than hundreds of custom icons so i'm just going to use one of them so feel free to use them and explore it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use A beach axis and I'm, I can also mention a color to it so I'm gonna give a beachy color which is like deep orange so I think it's deep orange yes it is deep orange and I can also work on the size of the icon so I can give like 50 55 yeah, depending on your choice so so first let's see how this looks like on the screen there you go so I have a splash screen with the circle avatar and an icon inside but I don't want this avatar here I want it in the center of the screen so what I could do is the column has a property called main axis aligned and I can define that as center yeah when I do this let's see where does it gets appeared there you go so I wanted it in center and it's possible now I just don't want this um, icon I also want a text beneath the um, avatar so what I'm gonna do is first thing I'm gonna add a padding Yes, I'm going to add a padding to the, okay, this is my children here. I'm going to add a padding that's between your avatar and a text. And this padding has another property called padding where you can mention the thing how you want, whether it's on left, right, top, or in all the places. But here I'm going to go with just top uh, no only top and I'm gonna say 10 now I cannot see the padding until I add some text below it so I'm gonna add a text and I'm gonna say this is a sample text at the moment so this is a sample text um, I'm going to add some style to it and the style is nothing but a color attribute so I'm just going to keep it all white just feel free to play around with colors and fonts and add as much as attributes you want to make your splash, splash screen good so so font size I'm just giving 24.0 so let's see how does this look like there you go so I have a simple elegant splash screen with multicolor and an icon and a text so this way I can generate as many splash screens I want and add any icons or any templates I can also add a button to it I can also add another avatar 
so you can just get crazy with your splash screen and another part is um, I'm gonna show you with how you can get multi colors with this so as of now I've just used just two colors that is these two custom colors now I'm gonna show you how you can um, use another color so just to show you how it looks if I use a different color there you go so this is how it looks like now what if I want some kind of an instead of using center right center left what if I use an alignment to the end so I'm just going to show you so instead of end alignment center left if I give some axis values you can see the difference there you go you see how the two colors are getting merged in this axis so this is how you can play around with colors